good morning everybody it has been storming all morning here in Cleveland today I have been up since 5 30 a.m. because my Gibson my puppy was shaking like a leaf he hates storms and he hates fireworks and it's gonna be a long summer for him I fear um, but it's over now the Sun is coming out the birds are singing it's humid out here so I think we have more storms ro rolling through later but um, today is the day that I get to go pick up my peaches from the peach truck so it was uh, uh, a couple months ago that I had told you guys that I placed my order for my peaches and today's the day I get to go and pick them up so I'm gonna head there um, any minute now and I will let you guys know how their peaches are. Do they taste any different than peaches you get from the store or the farmer's market? And um, I don't know. I've never done this before. This is my first time ordering from the peach truck. So uh, I'm looking forward to giving them a try. With that, let's get going and go pick up our peaches. In the email I received from the peach truck tour, my pickup location is in Strongsville at the mall there. And so they told me to pull in to the main part of the mall and look for their peach truck tour truck. They said it would be easy to find. And once I see that, they said to park and then walk over and stand in a line. And they said the line, they'd make sure that the line move quickly and swiftly so you could pick up your peaches. Now, I only ordered one 25 pound box of peaches um, they come 25 pounds a box um, I think I can carry 25 pounds I'm pretty sure I can carry 25 pounds of peaches I, I hope I'm strong enough to do that um, but I can't imagine if you order more than 25 pounds of peaches how you would carry all that to your truck you'd have to bring either someone really strong some help or they said you might even want to like borrow a dolly seriously people order that many peaches um, what the heck do you do with all those peaches unless you split it with people? That's the only thing I can think of. But that's a whole heck of a lot of peaches. And I sure hope that they're worth it. I well, I'm here and I found the truck. And there is a crazy long line. And I hope it doesn't take too long. I'll let you know. almost up to the front of the line. It's been moving at a steady pace. Um, looks like you just show them your QR code when you get up there and hand you your peaches and then off you go. There's a lot of people with dollies here so they must be pretty good. It was super easy. I think I only waited, I only waited nine minutes. The line was constantly moving. The line looked longer than it actually was. It moved very quickly so it was great. They said when they handed me my peaches, that um, they're not quite ripe yet. He said, lay all of them out like on a countertop or a table for like three days to ripen them and then we can eat them. Okay, all right, here's what they look like. One box, 25 pound box of peaches. And that's what it looks like. And they're cold, they're ice cold. They're nice size, they're not a regular size peach. But I guess we're gonna have to wait three days to eat one or make some of our recipes, but oh well, okay. I forgot to tell you guys something. They had Elvis playing out of the big truck as well. It was awesome. So you're waiting in line for nine minutes listening to Elvis. They had a greeter going around talking to people, keeping it light and fun and friendly. It was fun, not bad at all. So here is what 25 pounds of peaches spread out on my counter for three days looks like. And because I'm a bit of a dork, I counted and it's 77 peaches in my box. And when I figured it out, I paid $45 for the entire box. So that comes to like 54 cents a peach. Uh, not too bad. 
So my peaches have been sitting out for a few days and not all of them, but I think a few of them are uh, soft and firm to the touch, but give a little. So I think a few of them are ready to be eaten. Um, I looked into the peach truck tour a little bit. I wanted to see their backstory. And it all started with a family, the Rose family, uh, whose husband, I think his name was Steven, lived in Georgia and they moved to Nashville and he missed his hometown peaches. So what he did was he got this truck and he drove back to Georgia and worked with the farms there and ordered a ton of peaches, put them in the back of his truck, took them back to Nashville and he ended up selling out his truck like within hours because everyone wanted the Georgia peaches. And um, so I'm guessing these peaches are from Georgia and they said they're picked within like I don't I, they said hours I don't know how that would be possible because we're in Ohio but I guess they're picked and then they, they were cold when I got them like almost frozen so I guess they freeze them or partially freeze them or something and bring them uh, up to Ohio to sell them right away a lot of people on there who commented say they are the best peaches they ever had they taste nothing nothing like the peaches in the store so I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna try one of these peaches and let you guys know if I can tell a difference between um, Georgia peaches from the peach truck and just ones we get either from the farmer's market here in Cleveland or at our grocery store. So here goes. So I cut into it and it's beautiful on the inside. I'll tell you that. I ain't gonna lie. They are really delicious. They're juicy and sweet. They have the perfect amount of firmness to them. They're really good. Um, I don't know if they're special peaches like from Georgia, but they are good peaches. I have so many peaches. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make some peach jam and then I'm going to make a couple other recipes. I want to make um, peaches and cream muffin, and then I want to make peaches and pork chops for dinner one night. And they said you can keep them in your fridge for up to two weeks, but after two weeks, you either need to can them or you need to freeze them. So that's the plan, that's what I'm going to do. Um, but I'm gonna tell you my favorite way to eat a peach is this way. So you take a peach, cut it in half, and drizzle a little bit of honey on top of it. I'm gonna use my AI root honey. And then sprinkle on just a tiny bit of kosher salt. It has to be kosher salt. It can't just be table salt. Just a tiny little bit. And I'm telling you, that is an amazing snack. They're really good. They are. They're delicious. I will probably go back and, and order another box when they're back in town. Um, Elena has eaten how many so far? She had like three peaches so far. So, and um, she keeps wanting to go back. She says they truly are the best peaches that she's ever had. So I would take her word for it. Um, if you're trying to get fruit in your kids, hey, maybe the peach truck tour is your way to go. So with that, it was a fun adventure trying the peach truck tour. It was exciting to be able to pick them up and listen to Elvis music and just have a little fun in, in that kind of atmosphere as well. And we'll definitely be back for some more peaches next year. Uh, until our next adventure, I hope your days are as sweet as your peaches. Take care. Bye.